Hello guys, Kim Jong Lee here with another episode of Piper's Adventures in the Cup of Barbarians. This is now the final, so I know you guys have probably been looking forward to this, um, so I'll get to it. Uh, we have Piper here with Numidia and Nerman with uh, Spain. Keep in mind that uh, the finals are a best of three, so whoever loses this or wins this has to win once more or lose once more to lose slash win. Um, so anyway, we have Piper here with Slingers, as usual, three Long Shield Cav, three Camels, um, two more Long Shield Cav there, Desert Inventory Archers, uh, so very reminiscent of what he usually brings, uh, not too much different other than the extra Camel. Nerman here with Beleric Slingers, two of those, um, two more, so four Beleric Slingers, four Regular Slingers, four Naked Fanatics, which is an interesting thing. Um, long Shield Cav, more Long Shield Cav, and more Long Shield Cav, which is pretty normal. Uh, but, oh, there should be Round Shield Cav somewhere here. Uh, there we go, Round Shield Cav. So he has eight units of Cav, and so does Piper. But Piper's got these Camels, which could let him be more aggressive with these um, Long Shield Cav units. He could potentially push up um, with the support of these Camels and not fear like a Cav engagement from Nerman. Um, also, he's got these Desert Infantry, which could help in the Cav fight, but against these Naked Fanatics the Desert Infantry, I'm not sure how well they'll do. I don't see Naked Fanatics, fanatics very often in Rome Total War, in general, because they, their armor is just so low. They really, they really are a shock troop, um, but they can be very, very scary with Warcry. Um, if you can get the Warcry off, and get them engaged right afterwards. It is insane. They're basically berserkers with their war cry on. Uh, maybe not exactly berserkers, but they have the same kind of morale effect that berserkers have on the enemy. Um, if you can get their war cry off, so very dangerous unit um, if used correctly. But it's going to be very difficult to use them in a CWB setting because the units are smaller, so it's hard to catch units that don't want to be caught. And um, also, CWB tends to be more um, skirmishy, and these guys are, as you probably have guessed, naked, so they're very bad against the archers. Um, and yeah, if they get shot, they'll drop like flies. But in this sense, it's not so bad because they're fairly cheap. Um, so yeah, if they die, it's, you're not too sad. You're a little bit sad, but not too sad. Uh, in terms of the missiles, um, these Balearic Slingers should kind of counter the archers a little bit, maybe. I'd probably try and keep these Slingers a bit further back uh, than the regular Slingers, so the um, so Piper's units can't reach them. Because these guys should have a bit better range, I think. Not too sure about that. Piper's really looking to just skirmish it out. Um, and then maybe once more of the archers have died, more of the missiles have died, um, he can go in with a push with these cav. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, Nerman, really looking to kind of do the same thing, get the advantage in the missiles, and then go in for a push with these naked fanatics. So he probably wants to keep these naked fanatics a bit safer, uh, in in a safer position. Um, looks like Nerman is going to keep these Blurric Slingers a bit further back. Uh, force Piper to kind of run forward with these guys and break up his line a little bit, make it easier for sneaky attacks um, by keeping these Slingers further back. Also make it harder for Piper to kind of defend these units if he wants to shoot at the Blurric Slingers, but we can see that a lot of Nerman Slingers are already taking a lot of damage here, um, getting focus fired. So, you know, there is a trade off. But I think Nerman has probably invested more in the missiles than Piper because these Billeric Slingers do have some upgrades as well. And they're not the cheapest uh, missile units around. Um, hmm. Yeah, so it does the inventory. Piper really wants them to go into the cav. That's why he split them up like that. Um, Nerman probably wants, probably is trying to get these naked fanatics engaged at desert inventory, so he's trying to match. Um, 
Looks like Piper managed to get a sneaky shot in there and route one of the slingers, which is good for Piper. And also shoot this unit of cav a little bit, so uh, Nerman leaks a few men there. Overall fairly cautious, um, but it looks like Piper is doing better in the missile duel. Um, these two units though, unscathed, um, so they could kind of come in here, fill the gap and start shooting as well. These units as well doing quite well. Norman's going to run forward with these naked, naked fanatics now. Looks like he feels pressured enough to kind of go for it. Um, I don't know if they've got their war cry on or not. I'm not too sure, but uh, Archer's routing there. Naked fanatics going to push up. He's going to be using these as kind of his deterrent. Uh, make sure Piper doesn't want to engage, but Piper engages. If these guys have war cry on, it could be very scary, but I'm not sure they do. Um, Nerman does get them engaged with the Desert Infantry though, which is exactly what he wants. Piper missing with the charge there could be very detrimental. His general is also there. Oh, his general got caught, which is very bad news. Um, Nerman's also got this unit of Cav right behind position for a counter charge, so it looks like it's all over for Piper in the blink of an eye. Uh, the Naked Fanatics held out a bit longer than I thought they would, but... They did their job, I guess. Um, pretty overwhelming victory for Nerman there. Piper has some units here, which he couldn't get into the fight, so that might have helped. Um, these naked fanatics, though, doing quite well against the. Um, what was it? Doing quite well against the desert infantry. Um, and yeah. Nerman got the engagement he wanted with the Naked Fanatics getting into those Desert Infantry units. Um, Piper's charge went through the back of the Desert Infantry units, which kind of made it not as effective. Um, so yeah, Naked Fanatics doing their job. Uh, Nerman got the engagement he wanted. And I reckon this is definitely a win for Nerman. Like, he's got so much cav left. Even if all his slingers die, um, he's just got too much cav left. Um, should be a fairly easy win from here. And I'll just triple speed it because there's probably not much else to see. It's fairly obvious that um, Nerman's got this in the bag. So, but well played to Piper. Um, I reckon well played to Nerman. It's a great game. Uh, Nerman knew uh, knew what engagements he wanted, uh, knew what units he ma he wanted matched up, uh, prepared for that push and executed it very beautifully so well played to both um, and I'll see you guys in the next game